everyone hello you guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in today and uh, yeah today's video is actually going to be an update on how to make a closure and a wig on your own and this is an old wig on i used and i bought a cap the accessories will be listed below this video so i uploaded a video like a month ago on how to make a closure so right now i'm not yet there but i'm getting there so this is how this recent one look like so that other one i left like two space but this one i i just left just one space and this one is looking so natural so if you want to see how i achieve this please continue to watch this video to the end if you haven't subscribed to subscribe i don't know what you are waiting for and i'm judging you i'm judging your guy <laughs> so subscribe subscribe button either below or above depending on what you are watching with and i would like you guys to share this video to your friends and family give this video a big thumbs up and i'd like to see your comments below this video to know what you guys think if you like this kind of videos uh, thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers Okay, for the materials you will need um, a wig cap and I got this from wig store on Instagram needle and thread, office pin, ventilating needle and brass holder, mannequin and mannequin stand, scissors, hair clip. This closure net is actually different from the first one I used before but this is better and easier to work with. We use the office pin to hold the net onto the cap. This net also has straight lines, so we just um, follow the straight lines to make the closure. This is the hair I'm going to use. Like I said before, this hair is not new. It's three bundles, 18 inches human hair. So we are just losing the hair and then take one bundle from it, cut the bands on it. Then I will just um, brush the hair to remove unwanted or shorter hair before making the closure. So for those of you that are just watching for the very first time, please I would advise you to go watch the first one on how to make a closure for easy understanding and so that you don't get confused when I start calling names and when I'm like trying to explain something to you, please go and watch the first video. For the purpose of this video, we'll just make only 12 lines and we'll be leaving only one straight line in between them. That is, I'll just make 6-6 six, six on each side. So if you stay in Nigeria, you can get your materials from wig store on Instagram, wig underscore stores on Instagram. I'm also going to leave a link below this video so that you guys can go check them out and also I'm going to leave a link on where you can get these materials on Aliexpress and Amazon. So right now I have made the first six lines and I'm about to start making the second six lines. Like I said before, I'm going to leave one straight line free in between the two of them just to indicate the demarcation, the center pattern. And then as I'm going, as I'm making the closure, I'm going to be taking just a string of hair. Just a string. I'm not going to take more than a string, either a string or two, just so that the closure will lay very flat. Push the ventilating needle through the lace and pick up a string, just a string of hair. Drag it out and take a, the two ends through the loop to create a knot. So 
continue doing this until when you are done making the closure and please do not jump any line at all so that your work come out very very neat patience is the key to this this took like eight hours because the lines are more longer than the previous closure i made but if you are not fast it might take you the whole day or even more I use the brass holder to brush and hold the hair so that it won't cover my view while making the closure. After making the closure, we'll just remove the office pins and then cut out the excess net I don't really need, then sew the closure onto the cap with needle and thread. Please, I advise for you to watch this video very very carefully so that if you really really want to learn how to make a closure, because I'm not really sure I was able to explain everything, so please just watch the video very carefully. <laughs> now I'm sewing the weave on onto the cap will also leave a link on my description box on how to make a wig at home because this clip is actually really small and it's not really self-explanatory <laughs>
also misery, it's no mystery And you and I, we got history, yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history, yeah Just because I don't really want the hair to be coily after sewing the weave on onto the cap, we use a hand dryer and straightener to straighten the hair a little bit. After that, we just go in with my shade of powder at the back of the closure so that the wig will look very, very natural. Any powder will do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones. Comment below, subscribe if you haven't and give this video a big thumbs up. It will really help. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.